Hi, this is Marilyn, the eBiz Mommy. Today I'm going to shoot you a quick little video to show you how you can sell your products and services on your WordPress blog using PayPal. It's really quick and simple and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First thing you need to do is log into your PayPal account. Once you're there, select the Merchant Services tab located across the top. And when you're there, you're going to see your tools for PayPal merchants. One of them is the Buy Now button, and the second one is the Add to Cart button. What I'd like you to do, if you just want to sell one product at a time, say you're selling an ebook or maybe um, you know a service package of some sort, you want to click the Buy Now button. Now, if you're selling a bunch of different items that you want people to be able to purchase, such as you know uh, pedicure. Uh, equipment, you know, maybe some nail polish and some scrub, that kind of thing, then you'll have different buttons all leading to the PayPal shopping cart. And then that's when you'd want to use the Add to Cart button. And you can utilize the PayPal shopping cart. You don't have to spend money on your own. But for today's purpose, I'm going to pretend that I'm selling a photography uh, service package. And so I'm going to just choose the Buy Now button, click on that. When you get to the page, it's going to show you and ask you questions on how to set up your, your payment button. This is what your button will look like when we're done, and it'll be on your website, and all they'll have to do is click on it to purchase your service. Here's uh, Choose the button type. We're going to accept payments for, since I said it's a service package, I'm going to use the drop down and use services. And I want to create a buy now button, not an add to cart button, because I won't be selling multiple products at the same time. And I'm going to just put in wedding photo package. And let's just say $1,000. There's some customized things that you can do here. You can add a drop down menu um, with and without additional price increases, add a text field to it. Um, but today I'm just going to show you the basic button that we're going to use. I'm not going to charge shipping. And I don't know, just, you know, say 6.25% tax if they're in my area. You can, so you can add the tax there for that. If it's going to be out of your tax area that you're providing a service, then you don't have to put that in. I'm going to use a secure merchant account ID. It just keeps things a little more secure. Then you can go to step two, and I don't really need to customize anything for this button, but I'm going to show you what's available for you. I'm going to have PayPal save my button. You can even track inventory in PayPal and track profit and loss. Also, in step three is customized checkout. Do I want to let the customer change order quantities? No, I just want to sell them one package, so I'll keep that as no. Can your customer add special instructions? Yes, I definitely want them to be able to add special instructions. Now, they might put a, you might request a lot of different items, but you know, for this example, I'm going to say, um, please enter your wedding date. because that's the most important thing I need to know, right? When is the wedding, if I'm going to take wedding photography. So I'll just put that in there, and then they can add their wedding date in the comment box when they check out. Now, do you need your customer shipping address? I don't need it specifically, but I want it, so I'm going to keep it yes. That way you know your uh, customer's contact information, especially for services of any kind. I'm going to, for this example, just take them to the home page of um, my website. And you can take them to a customized thank you page if you like, um, anything like that. This is actually for checkout cancellation. Where are they going to go? Uh, you might funnel them right back to the same page that they were at. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, copy and paste. Actually, I'm going to leave this just the default um, because they'll just get a you know a little receipt or something when they 
check out. Or this is where you can do like the thank you page I was talking to you about. Um, and tell them, you know, thank you for purchasing this package. We'll get back to you. Uh, but for this example, I'm not going to, I'm not going to add that extra page. And then all you have to do is create button. And once you get the create button, it's going to show you your code that we're going to copy. Just select the code. Now I'm going to take you over to behind the scenes of my WordPress blog. And we are going to set up a new page where I'm going to offer this service. And so you want to come across, you can either put the service like in a post or a page, however you want to do it. But for this example, I'm just going to use a page and I'm going to add a new page to my WordPress blog. And I'll just put wedding photography. And I'm going to say buy my wedding package here. Of course, you want to put way more information. $1,000. And now I'm going to insert the code. And what you do to insert the code is go to the HTML button across here. You can see visual and HTML. Now all you have to do is put a space here and put your tag that it gave you. And I'm just going to right click and paste, whoops, generate code, copy, <laughs> right click, paste. So now I've got the code in there and what this is going to do is put it on the site right there. So now I just went back to visual and that code you can see translates to that. Let's just take out one of these spots. Okay, and that's it. Now all I have to do is to publish my page and then I will show you when I go to Eva's Mommy and Refresh. I've got a new page on my site now that I've put the PayPal Buy Now button on my website someone wants to buy my wedding photography package, all they'll have to do is click the Buy Now button and it'll take them to PayPal. They can log in to PayPal here and pay for it through PayPal. You can open it up here and it'll show that the sales tax was $62.50. That's what the total amount is and the photo package is here. If they don't have a PayPal account, they can continue and then they can use their credit card to pay for it directly. So you can tell them about that and here and so they can just input their information, review and order or log in to PayPal to purchase it. So that's it. Quick and easy. You've turned your WordPress blog into a e-commerce store where you can sell products and services directly to your customer. Thanks. This is Marilyn, the eBiz Mommy.